welcome to another episode of To The Point Tutorials, a series that bypasses all the fluff and focuses on what you really want to know. Let's begin. Today we're going to be demystifying Padlet for you busy academics. What's Padlet? Padlet was formerly known as Wallwisher, and it's a simple website where a user can create a notice board style wall where participants can add sticky notes with minimal computer experience. It's simple and works really effectively and efficiently, and can also be modified to suit the factors that affect your lesson. Um, so let's try to make this simple. If you see the menu over here, you have manage people, gallery, join a Padlet and make a Padlet. If you join a Padlet, you join uh, an, existent, uh, an existing Padlet. You just need to paste the URL. Uh, if you want to check out the gallery, you press gallery and you have a myriad of examples over here. I'm going to go backwards. Um, and also you can manage the people that can access or not your Padlets. So if we go back, I'm going to create a Padlet and you're going to see how simple it is. Um, they have an assortment of um, templates that you can use. And I think that for academics, the best one is wall, grid and shelf. And I'm just going to use shelf to create a um, formative assessment. I used to teach um, sound for film in a past life. So what I'm going to do is um, basically create a formative assessment that is connected to sound design for film. I already prepared this beforehand, obviously, so I'm just going to go to my uh, text pad and uh, copy paste um, all the necessary elements. Um, for the title, I'm going to use sound design for film, sound categories. For the description, I am going to use um, formative assessment, create and submit a short 10 second video that illustrates practically the sound categories shown below. Um, you can choose an icon. It's, it's okay. I mean, it looks a bit better, but it's not compulsory. I think this one is appropriate for sound for film. Um, you can see that you can copy to the clipboard the address and then share it around. This is how they will access your um, Padlet. You can choose the wallpaper, um, the things that are um, underneath. I, this one's fine, to be honest, but I, I prefer perhaps solid colors. It's a little bit more boring, but uh, it's a bit easier to read later on. Um, then, of course, you should attribute the name of the author to each post if your students are going to uh, submit. Um, I think it's cool if you allow viewers to comment on posts so your students can also um, start some sort of discussion about it. And um, I like putting reactions. Um, normally, um, from one to five stars um, could be could be interesting. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to do this as well. And then you can uh, press next. You're all set. You can now start posting. So I'm going to start posting. And the name of my first column is going to be um, diegetic sound. And I'm going to save. Then I'm going to add um, a description about diegetic sound. And, um, and paste it here. And then I'm going to add another column. I'm going to put non-diegetic sound and then the description about it. Um, and then I'm going to add the third one, which is going to be meta-diegetic sound. And then place it here. And then add another column. And finally, the description of meta-diegetic sound. Um, so this is pretty much it. I mean, from this moment on, your formative assessment has been created. And every time a student wants to add their own 10-second um, original video that illustrates practically the sound category is shown below, they either need to upload a file or share a link. And so from that moment on, the discussion can start. So what do you need to do? In order to share this, you just go to the upper right corner and the upper right corner, you can add members. You can uh, choose the type of privacy you, you want. If you want it to be private, if you want to put a password, keep it a secret, etc. And then you have lots of sharing options. Copy a link to clipboard. You can get a QR code. I don't know if you remember the past video that I shared with you guys about how to create a QR code. Um, you can also embed in your blog, add to your Moodle or any other LMS email, share on Google Classroom, save as image. Well, there's so many options that uh, you can share it in any way you want. So that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next episode.